Hello, I am Blizzard KB, and this is a review of the puzzle called Ball B. Now, the one I have in front of me is the regular <clears throat> 12 dot brand. This puzzle moves exactly the same way as a Mega Minx. This is a spherical Mega Minx, but it is much larger. Here I have a PVC Mega Minx as a size comparison, but as you can see, this is this puzzle is much bigger than a regular PVC Mega Minx. As a matter of fact, it's almost the biggest spherical puzzle I own, except for the KO Labyrinth. This is a regular Balby, and this is a KO Labyrinth. As you can see, the, the KO Labyrinth is a huge puzzle. It's really, really big. Here's the stand for it. As you can see, it's a little bit larger than a than a ball bee. I'll leave that in the background. But the way you turn a ball bee is exactly the way you would think. Just rotate these sides, and any side with a center colored dot, you can rotate around that side. Again, it's exactly like a regular Mega Minx, except now it's spherical. Let's take a look at the colors. On this side they have black. Then up here, around the black, they have yellow, pink, green, white, blue. Then on the other side, here's dark blue, and around the dark blue we have gold, brown, pink purple, you have red, and you have orange. It's not looking orange in this picture, but when you get it in person, it's a pretty bright orange. There is more there is more of a difference between this orange and this red than is appearing on the camera. Now this is one version of three that are currently available. Uh, in the video description, I'm going to have a link to a place that is currently selling this puzzle. But there's three different versions that are available as of right now. This one's the dot one, and here is the flag version. This is a more complicated version of the puzzle. I'll move this other one into the background. Now this puzzle comes out of Poland. So I'm going to start naming the flag starting with the Polish flag. And here's the Polish flag right here. This is Poland. And let's start by going around This flag over here is, let's see, this is the Netherlands. This is the flag for the Netherlands right here. Over here you have the flag for Italy. Here's the flag for Italy. Here's the flag for Germany. Here's the flag for Greece, the flag for Greece. Then over here, we have the flag. I'm having a bit of problem on the focus here. Okay, this is the flag for Portugal. And it's the flag for Portugal. Then we're back to the Netherlands over here. On the opposite side of Poland, we have this flag over here, which is the flag for France. Now around France, the flag over here is the flag for Croatia. This is the Croatian flag. Over here, 
Oh, wait a second. I need to rotate this so I can get the right side. It's not right side up. Okay. Here's the flag for Switzerland. That's the Swiss flag. Over here, we have the flag for the Czech Republic. That's the Czech Republic flag. Over here, this is the flag for Russia. This is the Russian Federation flag. Over here, we have the flag for Austria. And we're back to the flag for Croatia once again. Again, the stickers on this puzzle make it more difficult than the ones on the other puzzles because there's more things to match up. You have to get the orientation right as well for each of these for each of these flags. So this is a more difficult version of this blue version. Let me take a look for a second at the paperwork that comes with the ball bee. There's a couple of different things that come in the container. This is the packaging that came with the flag version. I got a certificate card. I am not clear what that's supposed to mean. It's all written in Polish, but I also don't see any purpose behind getting this certificate. I'll hold on to it, but I'm not clear on the purpose. They also give this piece of paperwork as well. That looks like it's supposed to explain how to solve this puzzle. And it gives instructions on it, but you're much better off just finding instructions on how to solve a Megaminx. If you can solve a Megaminx, then you can just apply that solution set to this puzzle as well. And then they give some nice pictures. They explain the notation in the paperwork as well, but they give some pictures as well of how it can rotate and some moves that you can do in order to swap pieces around. And over here they give a much larger set of puzzle, of, of puzzle movements in order to figure out how to swap pieces around, things like that. But I, again, I, I think if you find a solution for a Megaminx and you learn how to solve a Megaminx, then you can just take that solution and then solve this puzzle as well. Those are two versions of the Ball B. There's a third version that I kept in the packaging until now. It looks like this. It is the same as the Dots version of the Ball B, but it is orange for the rest of the pieces. Okay, I'll leave that packaging in the background. Here's the orange one, and it, again, it's the same as the regular ball B with the regular dots, except it's orange. There's not much else to say about it. The color scheme is the same. Nothing has changed except the orange center pieces. Again, I am Blizzard KB, and these are Ball B Bug Puzzles.